next episode of Talk the Things podcast. And today we're going to be talking about a continuation of the video I did for Bonix Grocery. Now, from when I made that video to today, two weeks later, the amount of information that's come out about this story and the amount of people that has commented, the video is a success. It's my most viewed video, and I thank you guys all for watching. Remember to subscribe. But through the comments, there was so much more people coming forward with their experience. You can go look, and I'm going to go over some in this video. Also, I received some um, intel and some messages from some people who she has personally robbed in Jamaica and they came and showed me receipts and they have the invest bro when i tell you this has gotten so much more deep than i would have ever thought it was bro it's crazy the first thing i want to talk about that's newly come up and i mentioned it in my other video but i never went deep into it because i never had much information about it was um that she had us she did nail and the nails she had like a nail shop i believe in scarborough but come to find out a lot of people were pissed off when they go to go book their nail and realize that she can't do no nails and that the picture them that, that she was using weren't even her own she thieved a person's picture and was using the pictures them and saying that it was her doing the nails also she scammed some people like they paid a down payment went to the place to go and there's no place and then bro let me just read you guys one of the um one of the comments them so this is from a person named mary janine ja 475 and she said i'm glad karma finally reached jody she scammed me back in 2016 when she made me believe she was a nail tech excuse me a nail tech from miami who had just moved to toronto to expand her business and claimed to own a nail salon in scarborough come to find out she couldn't do nail and all the pictures on her ig were stolen from another nail tech all of her so-called business air salon wholesale grocery store and restaurant have been funded by her man who live in miami and still fraud slash scam money she refused to pay bills on her employees hired illegal workers and called immigration on them she rather fly out to get her body and her teeth done and go on her expensive shopping spree god don't like ugly and karma doesn't take long anymore may her time in jamaica be a rough and horrible and once she finishes her sentence in jamaica then they need to send her back to florida and new jersey to serve her jail time there as well for the credit card fraud she had committed with the hard rock cafe hotel and discovery bank Whew. you guys just heard that and that was a mouthful but can you believe she reached from jamaica miami new jersey toronto how who the fuck how is this even being possible and nobody is just realizing till now you guys heard she said from 2016 that's nearly 10 years ago now that's eight years and she's just getting exposed and because even when she had the grocery store i don't know how people weren't running in there and running her down about the nails and the other scam that she was doing supposedly in scarborough you know what i mean but i want to read you guys now one of the vendors that messaged me it's a jamaican vendor by the name of real yardy things and she sends stuff from jamaica to canada like in a wholesale type you know like that way and she said that she defrauded me of 3.2 million that's jamaican dollars in last year march 2023 for you guys that's in canada that it comes out to about 32,000 yeah because 10,000 Canadian is 1 million so that's about 32,000 she refused to pay and became disrespectful I reported her she was held Monday I think she meant to say held she was held Monday night at the Norman Manley airport under a false name and we all know that and we're gonna get into that later on in the podcast I don't want to spoil it but she said that also I'm just 23 and I'm starting my business and she was my first customer I took the goods and I sent it to her on a cargo shipment she kept sending me fake wire transfers so now she's locked up in jamaica and i have to let everybody know to come to the halfway tree police station to make the report and then she put the detective's name and number and all these stuff i don't have no report a lot of people are asking me why i never reported the story because like i said in the other video other than a couple rotten crown water i never been scammed by her i never had no attitude done to me by her and i'm not discouraging nobody's claim because i believe you guys oh i believe you guys and i feel sorry for so much people who fell victim to this lady but i never felt victim to her so i'm not gonna go report police statement and all these things and she never done nothing to me i encourage you guys to go 
seek your compensation but that don't have you know what i mean there's only so much i can do right so as you guys heard me reading before she went to jail she went to jamaica under a false name under the name jody Ann anderson and we don't know who anderson is i believe that was the name that they said it was jody Ann anderson and they lock her up and she went to go um try to get bail the next morning and they said no they're not giving her no bail so here she is now in jamaica still locked up to this day from what i've been reading from what i've been going through and you know this is just crazy i'm going to read you guys a news article coming from jamaica be a reading i'm doing in this video because it has gone to a point now where like it's out 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 there so actually this is not from jamaica news it came from pinkwall but the way it read looked like it was from news anyway it says it has been confirmed the owner for bonix wholesale jody and bonix is being held pending court on february 20th 2024 reports are that miss bonix who is a resident of canada defrauded many individuals and businesses by credit card goods that she hasn't paid for the list of people she defrauded includes some big names on the jamaica entertainment scene and top bakery in Kingston. Miss Bonix was held last night at the Norman Manley International Airport after she tried to depart the Highland with a fraudulent passport bearing the name Jody Ann Henderson. So see that it was Henderson. The police were called and another and other, excuse me, pending charges were added to other arrests when she made her first appearance in court this morning at 10 a.m. in the Alfredry Police Station, asking all those who have been defrauded to come forth and plead their case to the courts for February 28th. So I want to play you guys a video now. And this video where I come, people were tagging me in it on TikTok. It's going to explain a few more things about the boyfriend. There's even a picture of the boyfriend that come out now. So I'm going to play you guys that video, make you guys hear what they're saying, and I'll be right back. Now, people, here's the thing about this lady. Like me say, she is a, a wedding marriage, arranged marriage scammer. She is also a thief. She goes around, use her charm and tell people that, listen, you don't know some of her business and then take your stock. When she take your stock, she then sells it because she is operating no sorts of business, none at all. The only business that she's into is defrauding, scamming and shamming people. What is even worse, it is said that this lady was also living in a United States. She was doing the same thing. She scammed a whole bunch of Jamaican because so there's a whole bunch of illegals in America, in Canada, in a UK. So therefore, she was playing on these persons, desperation, taking their money and then cutting, did not file anything, did not even make an attempt. As a matter of fact, Based on information that I am getting, it is said that she scammed in excess of 3 million Canadian dollars from sus unsuspecting victims in, a, in a Canada. So people, me don't know if she get any sorts of bail. Hopefully, the judge and hopefully victims would have went out there to the court and tell them, say, listen, this lady scammed me of this. This lady scammed me of that. However, the tricky thing in all of this, whenever you do any sorts of arranged marriage, meaning that marriage for paper, it is hard for you to go to the court. Yes, you can go to the court and tell people that you were defrauded. However, it might work against you because if the immigration authority in Canada in America, in a UK, know that you are paying for some sorts of marriage. Your marriage is fraudulent. That would be automatic denial. You would probably get deported right away. You would probably be under scrutiny anytime you try again, even if you fall in love and somebody decide that they are going to file for you. So people, you see that these victims, that is probably one of the reasons that is how smart and slick this lady is. She knew that if she robbed these people, more than likely they would not or could not go to the authority because then their chances of becoming legal 
would be very minimal even worser tree bills food the number one box food in the gta located in the east with prices you won't believe small soup three dollars jerk chicken six dollars and a small oxtail 850 on certain days only we cater weddings funerals birthday parties baby showers and much much more follow us on instagram and tiktok at tree bills food or call 416-554-5028 Alrighty, so you guys just heard what the man has to say and i'm going to get into my final thoughts on this whole situation before i read you guys some comments actually but i'm going to say what i think first first of all i think that the boyfriend needs to be looked into whoever this man is from what a lot of people are telling me in the comment section is that he is the culprit of all of this he is the one that's um i don't want to say encouraging her because she's a grown woman and can do what she wants but he's the one that has a flex them that she's running and that's how she's able to keep opening up all these things now the boyfriend hasn't really gotten no attention in all of this it's just jodian but i've seen lots of people um referring to the boyfriend so i think the boyfriend has to be looking to you guys let me know what you think about that also i feel really sad for the victims um people comment and tell me how much money they've lost like i said that wholesale lady in jamaica lost thirty two thousand dollars worth of product i believe because jody i never send the money 3.2 million jamaican dollars you have to remember you know that money in jamaica is more heavier than it would be the thirty thousand. like what the thirty thousand can get you in canada is not as much as the three million can get you in Jamaica if you try, if you can understand what I'm saying. She robbed the money from them during COVID when they would do orders, and the orders don't reach till today. Till today, the orders don't reach, and their money is just gone, which I think is just crazy. How it's just so openly, so blatantly fraudulent like and nobody and it's just now getting stopped because she never pay her bills. But look from when all the people were bawling and reporting, and nothing was being done. Um. It, it, it's just crazy to think about this even the employees them how she would call immigration on them a lot of people don't understand that in canada when there's a lot of jamaican people I always always say oh you know jamaican restaurants never have good service jamaican restaurant um grocery store those places don't have good service because many other times what you will see in jamaican restaurants and some wholesale is that they bring up people illegally not illegally but they come up here and they're not supposed to be working on none of those things and they they, they they deal with them rough they don't pay them correctly they give them these slaving hours with these pennies th they're just throwing pennies at them and making them work so hard so the people are naturally upset not so much have a thing towards a customer but imagine and then the person call immigration on you guys after and all those things and you don't get your money back nah it's wicked man it's it, it's too wicked you can't do these things and expect for it to not come back to you in no way no shape or no form and like i said as a business owner as a fellow business owner i could never deal i love my customers way too much to ever deal with them in this way um that's why i feel like many people shouldn't be in business because they 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 don't they don't they don't care you know I have a next comment here from a person by the name of Melva. And she says, I saw the restaurant on Instagram posted by Marv. The services was horrible. No chef was there to cook the food. So I was asked to wait 15 minutes for the chef to get there. But I waited longer than that. And no one showed up. She kept making excuses. And then the prices were extremely over the top. I left her so embarrassed to have followed the Instagram account and waste my time and money travel from Hajax all the way to downtown toronto for a waste bought parties that were stale due to waiting in the restaurant i ended up with a traffic parking ticket this was not worth a penny never doing this again this one's from a person named fropster and they said i saw this coming i shot there twice the second time she asked me to follow her on instagram so i did a week later i got an inbox message saying she was stuck in jamaica as her purse was with her phone passport and money was stolen in alpha tree and she wanted me to wire her some money until she returned stop right there who the fuck acts as a person that you met in a grocery store to wire you money anyway she claimed she only had her daughter's ipad and she used it to access instagram i immediately called the store but nobody answered i instantly blocked her and i never went back which is right because that's not normal um that's not normal at fucking all the lady was probably looking up people to try spot to try scam because you just ask a random customer in your shop to follow you on instagram and then a week later you message them begging you to wire you money and god forbid that person wired them the money now they would have never gotten that money back so shout out to that person and like i said i feel bad for a lot of people who has just went through the something them that she's that she's done and like it's just like 
I, I don't know how she got away with this for so long, but you know, everything that's in the dark comes to the light. And she got fine out, she got catch, she's in jail now. And the 20th don't reach yet, so we're still waiting for that court date to hear what I go on then. Um, I might do a next follow up video, but I didn't even want to do this to make it look like I'm taking set on nobody in the business. Um, but it's just crazy what happened and the amount of people that has come forth and told me more story tag me in this tag me in that send me this send me that i just felt like i should talk about it so you guys let me know what you feel about the updates let me know if i'm missing out anything and you guys don't know until next time Planning our event from now until the end of March, I have great news. Tree Bills Food is offering 30% off caterings and 15% off box food. Enter promo code MEHUNGRY at the end of your order to receive the discount. Once again, the promo code is MEHUNGRY, M-I-H-U-N-G-R, all caps.